Now we also continue to celebrate and commemorate uh, Women's Month. Momentum hosted their two-day Women Who Make Moves in Sports Summit this past week on the 8th and the 9th, which was Women's Day in South Africa. The summit was aimed at helping sportswomen commercialize and build their personal brands in order to increase their earning potential by attracting endorsement and sponsorship opportunities. Now to tell us more about this, we are joined by Chief Marketing Officer at Momentum, Nontogozo Matonsela. Nontogozo, thank you so much uh, for joining us and uh, I guess uh, happy Women's month <laughs> thank you very much thank you for having me on your show just tell us um, as a start about a little bit about why as a company you're so passionate about women's sport um, we know very well from a sport perspective uh, you've been very uh, behind the women's cricket team and, mm -hmm. and many other sporting entities just tell mm -hmm. us briefly about that well like you correctly said momentum has been behind women's sports for many many years um, and for us, really, I think if you look at what Momentum does every August, we do a, an exciting campaign called She Owns a Success because there are many, many uh, households that are led by women in, in the country. So that campaign extended to women who make moves in sports because the, the, the conversation about the sponsorship gap is not enough um, to be had in terms of the sponsorship gap from the company side. So we mm. sought to get two days with female athletes to really give them tools, tricks, advice, so that they could find other ways to commercialize their brands and to negotiate better deals um, for when they're on the field. Uh, uh, you, you touched on the objective of the summit, but yeah. uh, what, what would you say looking at uh, the, the two days? Uh, have you achieved what you wanted to achieve with the summit being the inaugural one? So we got such incredible feedback from the participants uh, of the two day, on, of, over the two days. One, we took a risk because we didn't know if everybody felt like being in a class from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the evening. Mm. And on the public holiday, being Women's Day, they had a hectic schedule starting at 9, ending off at, four, at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. What was incredible is that they appreciated the content that we touched on we touched on topics like how do you read your contracts, how do you negotiate better in terms of just the legal stuff, how do you build your personal brand and tell a story that is authentic to you as the athlete, how do you use social media, how do you use social media to get your numbers because you know it's one thing to have your viewers um, uh, um, and fans watch you when you're playing on television but when you're on your personal social platforms you need to have good numbers because that is what brands buy into. We also touched on a topic to do with reputational management because a lot of the athletes obviously are public figures and they're celebrities because they're so brilliant mm -hmm. at what they do. So if they're found in a place at the wrong time doing the wrong thing, they've got to be able to negotiate themselves out of that situation so that they can continue to be successful in making money. And then we concluded the, the second day um, or the program with day two which was really focused on case studies. We had Prof. Anita from Harvard, who gave us a full day mm. and unpacked two powerful case studies that were filled with insights in terms of the relationships between the athletes and the brands, the relationship between the athletes and the agents, the cho choosing between multiple opportunities on the table in a way that is authentic to you as the athlete. So. On the whole, the two days was incredible. And what the female athletes appreciated is that a brand like Momentum took the time to plan an incredible program focused on helping them get more financial success. You, you touched on Professor Anita Elbers mm -hmm. uh, um, mm -hmm. as one of the key speakers, but just tell us about some of the key speakers and the attendees. How, how did you choose them and, and you know, was there a method to the madness, if I can put it that way? Well, it was, we, we one, made sure that the project, the project team was a strong team. Yeah. So we onboarded M Sport, who are um, a, an agency on, in terms of our books, who have good relationships with the athletes. So we then crafted a good, good agenda, working with a, a panel of, of, of expertise um, or experts who are on the sports uh, side of things as well. And they were, in a way, the sponsors on our part who were basically making sure that whatever we did, we did correctly with the understanding of what the real challenges are. But they were also the ones who helped us reach out to the athletes because they've got the relationship mm. to get them to come and attend. In terms of the content, we looked at what is involved in the business of sports. 
And so we unpacked all of the components of that, like, for example, contracting is important. Mm. For example, the use of your social media platforms is important. Um, dealing with reputation is important. Um, building relationship with brands is important. So we brought on experts from all of those fields to be a part of the program. What was also beautiful is that we realized that these athletes don't have data. They don't know what the numbers look like when they're playing. They don't know what the trends are, li look like in terms of just the whole sporting environment. So we, we brought Mobi Mo Mobile, who has a, a research agency, who understands mm -hmm. and whose job it is to track the data and monitor what is changing in the, in the sporting environment. For example, one of the key data points was that there were 57 sponsorship contracts signed this year. Out of the 57, I mean 54, only seven were for women. 54 sponsorship contracts were signed. Of the 54 in 2023, only seven were for women. As we wind on the conversation uh, due to time, I mean, that then looking ahead, what is the plan from this? Because more often, Nondoros, we talk about events like this being a talk shop that we talk over two days, mm. then we stop, and then we'll, we'll, we'll resume again next year with yeah. another summit. What is the yeah. plan from your side yeah. as a company to make sure that this does not just become a talk shop? Sure. You know, the, the women themselves won't allow that <laughs> because they were so um, touched and uh, found the program valuable. So number one, they are committed to having the conversation among themselves beyond this point. But Momentum has been um, encouraging South Africans to come out and support the women whilst they're playing. Because what happens is the sponsors are looking for numbers. If your family and my family are switching on the television to watch whilst they play, or we don't buy the tickets to watch whilst they play on field, then we remain with the status quo yeah. unchanged. So we continue to advocate for support. We continue to advocate for sponsors to find women athletes. And as momentum, we will be coming back again to have the summit next year. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank that you is for Madonzella.